You're listening to Country Road Radio, home of Glenn, the singing coyote. Cowboys, this is Country Road Radio. You're listening to Country Road Radio, the only station that city folk and country folk can agree on, provided they enjoy country music. Welcome to 10 Gallon FM. You know, around these parts, you either love country music and all the good things that come along with it, or you're into something else. You're listening to Country Road Radio, the only station with a cactus in the lobby. This is Country Road Radio. You're listening to Country Road Radio, formerly known as 10 Gallon FM, before a dispute with the Water Authority ended in a mutually agreed to name change. You've got the dial set to Country Road Radio, the only station in town with a farmer receptionist. This is Country Road Radio, where the dress code is boots, spurs, and some kind of pants. You've tuned in to Country Road Radio, home of the improvisational cowboy sound like yippee ki uh, Well, do not actually improvise, just read the previous line instructions. Actually, you can improvise if you think it's funnier that way. <laughs> You're the expert. <laughs> This is Tom on Country Road Radio, the biz's best host, playing the biz's best music. Like the old horse sent to the stables only to watch its master leave in the brand new pickup truck. Time to kick back, relax, kick those boots off, and take the saddle off your back. This is Country Road Radio. You're listening to Country Road Radio, where the city meets the country. I guess that makes it more of a suburb road radio. (laughs) But hey, everyone needs roads. This is Country Road Radio. For those of you just joining us, the name's Tom. I'll be here all day playing the best country around, so take off the saddle and stick around. You've got some more country music coming your way. Anyway, on a related note, all pudding is half off for the foreseeable future at Tony Magoni's Steakhouse. But they are currently unable to offer steak. Just a message from our sponsor. This is Country Road Radio. The last song reminded me of my days on the ranch. My mama had a saying that went, If the chicken ain't clucking, don't offer it eggs. Come to think of it, I'm not sure what she meant by that. The chickens darn near never stop clucking, and they almost never seem to want to eat eggs. Maybe it was more of a riddle than instructions. In fact, the chickens never really liked Mama. So I wouldn't invest too much in her opinions about chicken care. But hey, family is family. Well, enough about me. Let's play another song. We've been dealing with updating our computers at work, and let me tell you, computers haven't done anything for me that I couldn't do for myself. As a matter of fact, if you can think of a single thing a computer's done for you, go ahead and send me an email. I pretty much check it all the time. Just write computer stuff in the subject line, and I'll take it from there. This is Country Road Radio. I've got an email here from a listener that asks, why did country music have to go and change? The songs used to be about horses and ranches, but now they're all about trucks and big cities. Well, that's just the nature of change, friend. For centuries, wild horses roamed the hills around here. Then the true apex predator emerged, the truck. 
Now the trucks went and ate all the horses and took all the land, affirming their role as king of the road. Give it enough time and you'll be complaining about how people only sing about the drones or robots or self-flying horse drones or something. But you can be sure, though, if it's country, we'll play it. This is Country Road Radio. This is Country Road Radio. If I sound a little melancholy today, forgive me. I've been thinking a lot lately about a dear friend I haven't spoken to in years. Ah, we did so much right. But we just couldn't seem to agree about the relevance of daylight savings time in an increasingly urban society. Irreconcilable differences, they call it. Anyway, let's listen to a song to lighten up the mood. This is Country Road Radio. Tom here. I got an email from a listener that asks, Tom, what kind of country is your favorite kind of country? Thanks for the question, Pam. It's hard to choose a favorite kind of country. But I'd have to say the American countries like the USA are my favorite, probably because of the music. Anyway, thanks for the kind message. I hope to hear from you again soon. This is Country Road Radio. <laughs> 